Hello, Tamuna. Ngozi, are you okay? Hello, Ngozi, are you still there? See, listen, Ngozi. I am getting close to Adams. And when I get to him, I will definitely pay him in the coin he gave out to you and Ibiri. Of what use is it? He has already destroyed my life. No, 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 you're not destroyed, Ngozi. It is just a thing of the mind. You're not destroyed. You don't understand. I am pregnant and banished from home. What? Father, Lord in heaven, I commit myself into your able hands because on my own, I can no longer detect my life. I'm about to embark on a journey that I know nothing about. Lead me and take care of me. Even though there is a lot of disappointment, make them appointments for me so that at the end of this dark tunnel, there shall be light. I run into your wings of protection. Lord, take care of me. Take care of my dear father. <laughs> Help me, oh God, as I go. Take care of my father until I meet him again. Please, just keep him alive. I will always call a fee to find out how you're doing, okay? Take this. You may need it. No, thank you. I don't need it. I don't need anything from you. Because I have your mother. Are you? If you are my mother, Look me in the face and tell me that you are acting in my favor and goodwill. Ngozi, I am your mother. And I know what is good. Mommy, please. Ngozi needs to start going so she won't miss her boss. I want you to do my favor. Give it to my dad. Okay. Tell him that. That 
I love him very much. <sighs> Tell him it was not my fault. <laughs> you say I... I have to go away so I will not bring shame on him. <laughs> and if I don't see him again... What is it? Do you want to cry? You want to start crying? Ada, she knows it is a conspiracy. And she believes I am behind it. I don't like it. Mom. If only you knew what lies in wait for us at her exit. Mom, you will be dancing. Once I get married to Bayo, Mommy, it is goodbye to management for you. Cheer up, Mom. Why? Do you know what's inside? Don't you think she would have told Daddy everything with this note? Please let me tear it. I guess you're right. Tear it. Uh -huh. I hope we now have some peace in this house. Every Tom, Dick, and Harry that comes here. Ngazi, Ngazi, Ngazi. Every Feti and Funke, same story. Ngazi. They all want Ngazi. It's always Ngazi here, Ngazi there. Good riddance. Good afternoon. Oh, please, um, I'm Tamano, Junior's friend, but I want to see you, Ngozi. Oh. Ngozi has gone away. Oh, but when is she coming back? I don't know. Oh. But not anytime soon. She won't be back in a very long time. Oh. Excuse me. But... Coming after you. Even if it takes my life, I am coming for you. How do you feel? I feel free. There is nothing like freedom. 
That police business is an experience that I, I never wish to go through again in my life. But what sustains me is my spiritual experience and the swift move of God in my life. Please. He moves like that every day of our lives. But we take him for granted. How do you feel about the man that offended you? It is difficult to forget. What if I tell you that it is not pleasing or displeasing to God if you forgive or not? God tells us to forgive for our own good. I tell you, forgiveness is a mental spiritual bath and an inner cleansing exercise. Letting go of all that poisons us from within. I want you to reflect on that word, unforgiveness. Being something that poisons our inner self. This life is beautiful. Who is it? Sungozi, they are looking for seven out of ten people that come here are looking for Ngozi. I hope we can have some peace now that she's gone. <laughs> this house is no longer the same without Ngozi. No laughter, no bubbling, the light is gone. Oh gosh. Hey God. For me, I'm better off without her for now. Or till I am married to Bayo. When I'm gone to my husband's house where there'll be a lot of laughter, then she can come back. Mommy, with money, you can buy laughter, bubbling, and life. And Bayo has them all to give us. Pico. I'm still reflecting on that word unforgiveness as something that poisons our inner being. That is what it is. Something that poisons our within. If we do not forgive or put it behind us, it manifests badly in us like sicknesses, high blood pressure, nervous breakdown and all. Need I mention your experience in the police cell? It was as a result of your unforgiveness that pushed you to revenge that landed you in the police cell. It was an agony. It torments physically and emotionally. Unforgiveness is very bad. On the other hand, forgiveness is letting it go. That made it possible for God to free your mind. God does not work for us. God works with us for our own good. You know that is so easy for you to say when you've not been raped, abused or used. If you have, you will find out that it is very difficult. It is not easy. My dear Ipiri, I have experienced worse than that. But I pulled through. Not on my own, but through God who strengthens me. If you let God, God will strengthen you. I know you are wise. I know you will let him do it for you.
My dear, my past experience pained me so much, I almost took my life. I know lots of women are going through that same experience like you. That is why I dedicated my service to the relieving of their pains. I bought this for you. Use it to occupy your mind. Thank you very much. Welcome. How did it help you? Um, my name is Tamono James. Uh, sir, can I speak with you alone? It's clear, sir. All right. All right, thank you. More years. I know you've been trying to get Adams. The drug baron. I can help you get him. If we, I mean, uh, the organization with all the equipment at our disposal cannot get him, how do you intend to get it for us? My sister and my dearest friend were raped by him. And his action has ruined them psychologically. I have vowed to destroy him. And the only way to deal with this is to expose him. How do you intend to do this? I have already found my way into his camp to traffic for him. While inside, I can get out information for you. Tell me I? That's my name. Do you realize that what you are getting into is very dangerous? I mean, you'll be risking your life. I will not be able to save you. I know. I know. But I have made up my mind and nothing will stop me. Even if you are not interested, I will look for another way and destroy him. That's why I brought you outside so that we can talk. Ordinarily, I would have uh, dissuaded you from the mission that you're embarking upon because you're not trained to handle it. But like you said, whether we assist you or not, you've made up your mind to do it. And since I do not want to botch all the plans I've made all these years to nail Adams, well, we'll work together. God. Thank you so much. No, I should be the one thanking you for doing my job for me. I'm going to give you a device. When you switch it on, the conversation will be monitored from my office. That will help us during the prosecution in court. Okay? Yeah. So, um, when next are you seeing them? Uh, that's in the next 30 minutes, sir. Mm. 30 minutes. I want you to be very, very careful. Those guys are dangerous. Okay? I will. Oh, 
once you have made up your mind, there is no turning back. I do not need to tell you that much, as there is a lot of money to be made in this business. And also, a lot of risk. But don't worry, we will always be behind you. Attention over here, there's a special assignment on board, it involves a lot of money and a lot of risk. Is any of you willing to volunteer for the job? Huh? Is any of you? Okay. You, 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 come with me, you, stay. Why do you want to take the risk? I want to prove it to my uncle. But if he should train me in his school that I can make it on my own. If I make it, fine. But if I fail, so be it. I like it. I like it. Come. My man has been briefing you. Some of you boys have traveled with us before, but this is a special assignment. You will not be swallowing it. You will carry it on your person in a bag. Now this is where you play it by the ear. You will be sensitive, you will be alert. I will personally take the bag to the airport and arrange things. At this point, I normally like to handle things myself. All right? So get your mind settled. You will leave the day after tomorrow. Okay. Welcome to the big morning boy.
good But everything seems to be falling apart The more you get, the more you feel sad Whoa, this life I did not even say anything to her Eh? You don't mean it For what? <laughs> For what? You, I know you You will not do anything <laughs> No problem And the tricky How are you and how was work today? Beautiful. Okay. I had to leave the office very early to go pick my niece at the park. Oh. This is Ngozi, my sister's daughter. The one I told you about. Oh, oh. Yes. Ngozi, this is Chris, my fiance. Good evening, sir. Uh, good evening, Ngozi. Welcome to Port Harcourt. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Honey, welcome. I hope you ate something before coming home. Because I don't have strength to go outside and buy anything now. Don't worry, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm just tired. I had to take my bath. Eh? Alright. Take good care of yourself, eh? <laughs> Alright, let me show you where you sleep. Okay. Come. This is your room. This is a mat for you to sleep. I had you got yourself pregnant. Well, don't expect me to nurse or pamper you. I do not even have time for myself, let alone somebody else. You make sure you do all your house chores, including making sure everywhere is kept clean. We do not have any water in this compound, so you fetch from the next compound. Keep to yourself and think of your problems. Do not mingle with the neighbors. I hate them. Do you understand? Yes, Auntie. Perfect. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 